YouTube viewers. Um, I'm going to make a series of a quick and easy Halloween looks, but they're going to be easy to use. So just using eyeliners, eyeshadows, nothing fancy, no face paints, no liquid latex, just quick, easy ones that you can do if you're in a bit of a rush or a bit stuck on what to do. So the first one I'm doing is a spider look and um, I've already got my base on so I put my foundation on and my highlight, bronzer and all that lot and the next thing I want to do is get some eyeliner. You can either use liquid eyeliner or you can use gel eyeliner. I'm going to use gel eyeliner and we're just going to create a cobweb here and it's really really easy to do and then a cobweb coming off this eye as well. So I'll zoom in for that. So first starting up here, you want to draw four lines coming out and then you're just going to join them up in between. So I'll just get on with that. So once you've got your four lines sticking out, all you've got to do is connect them with the interwebs. We're going to call them interwebs because uh, we're fancy like that. Huh. So I'm going to start on the outer ones and join them up first. And as you go in, get smaller with the um, distance in between the webs. Right, so that's one web done. Now what we want to add to that is a spider dripping down and being onto our face. You can either have the spider coming off of any one of these points. I'm going to do it coming all the way down the eye. Why not? So you're going to carry on dropping down from whichever point you want to leave it from. So you can have it there, coming down onto your nose, coming down onto your cheek, or coming down through the eye onto your cheek there, which I'm going to do that one. So just draw a line coming down. Then you want to make your spider. So again, with your eyeliner, draw the outline of your spider. So I'm just going to do really simple or two circle spider. So that's its body and that's its head. Before I colour in its body, I'm just going to add a bit of a blob of red um, lip liner anywhere in the middle because then we can draw around it and make it into a red back. And then draw on its little legs. And there's one spider done. Now we just got to do a similar thing on this eye. So first off, I'm going to wing both eyes. So you now come to this eye, so I've winged that eye, and with this eye, I've started drawing one line of one wing, but instead of bringing it back, making a thick cat eye, I'm going to carry on drawing three more lines to create another spider's web. So I've drawn my three, uh, four spikes, one, two, three, four spikes there, so then I'm just going to do the webs in between again, like before. And then with the bit here, I'm going to just make that into a little bit of a wing. I want that there now, so I'm going to get rid of it. Oh, care! Then you want to choose again which bit you're going to have your spider falling off of. I'm going to have it coming off of that one. So it's like on my cheek again. And then you just do exactly the same as we did with this one. So, there are your spiders. Not exactly neat, but they're still cute. Right, so I'm just going to pop on some mascara on my eyes. You can always put on eyelashes if you wanted to put eyelashes on as well, but I think I'm just going to whack some mascara on. Also though, I'm going to put a little bit of white in my waterline as well. If you want black, do black. This bit is completely up to you. Right, so on with the lips, I'm going to go with a um, red, the red that I use for red backs. I'm going to just pop that all over my lip. I'm going to worry too much about the corners because we're going to put a black eyeliner there. Unless you have a black um, lip liner, 
you can just use a black eyeliner that's what I'm gonna do and you're just going to do the corners with the black so you know what? I've gone over my lip and because it's black I don't want to tidy it up we're just gonna go a bit whoops right red lip gloss or a red lipstick and I'm gonna use a red lipstick pop that into the middle on top of where you've left your red gap right so that is the quick version if you had a little bit more time and you wanted to shadow in to make it a little bit more 3d you can and I'll just do that now just to show you how what you want to get is a dark shadow so maybe a dark gray you can even if you've got only got black you can use black I'm going to use a dark gray and get a little brush whatever little brush you've got angled brush little eyeshadow brush little paint brush <laughs> any brush you've got just get that so I want it to look a bit more like there's shadow to it so what did you hear my throat so where there's the line I'm just going to pop a line of shadow above it like that so do that for each one and then you can't forget those lines and that is the final look for the spider face that's my spider voice apparently <laughs> right I just zoom in and you can see once it's got the shadows on it sort of gives it that little bit more detail it's like you made a little bit more effort on it yet yeah, it's basically no effort at all all of this was nice and easy okay thank you for watching like if you like subscribe if you like and be scary on halloween if you like right <laughs>